Morning, everybody, if you're in my time zone. It's morning. If you're in BART's, it's afternoon. I'm going to do a short PowerPoint presentation uh, before we get into the demo. Just want to lay out the terms used in global configuration, make sure everybody's ready for that. Uh, configuration mainly, in my opinion, is for your ability to be able to do parallel development of your artifacts. So whether that's requirements in DNG or test cases in RQM uh, or even drawings in Design Manager, your ability to create multiple versions. So we're going to cover in the next couple of slides what's a component, what's a stream, artifact version, change set, and baselines. Let's take those each one at a time. Before global configuration or configuration management in DNG, your entire folder structure for a DNG project was at the project level. You now have the ability to break that project into multiple components and each component will maintain its own folder structure. So you can now group the folders that contain information for different physical or logical pieces of your system or software. Um, and here we see a project that's been broken into three different pieces, uh, each one a component. That will become very important as we start talking about streams and baselines. Each component manages its own set of streams. And a stream is there to record all of the changes made. And we're going to concentrate just on DNG and DNG artifacts or requirements now through the rest of this demo. Uh, most of what I'm saying and demoing would be true for RQM uh, change sets as well. Uh, so where was I? Each stream uh, is there to capture all of the changes you're making to the requirements. And you can, on any stream, lay down a baseline that takes a snapshot of where the requirements are. And that is now a read-only snapshot of exactly what the stream looked like. And as you continue to make changes, those are captured by the stream. Uh, you can back up to that baseline and create a new stream that starts at the point where that baseline was. And now you have a new stream in which you can, starting from that earlier point, make an isolated set of changes to your requirements. So a stream is there to isolate changes you're making to requirements from the changes you're making on behalf of another stream. Uh, you can take baselines at any point to record that point so you can get back to it as a read-only version. Uh, or you can use any snapshot as a baseline to create yet another stream. Change sets are a very often small gathering, although they can be large, a small gathering of changes. So you can see here I have one change set that gathered the changes to a single artifact or requirement. I have another change set that gathered changes to multiple artifacts, in this case, two requirements. Change set is the unit of work that you use to deliver those changes back to the stream, and it's an atomic change, meaning I deliver everything in the change set or nothing at all. So a change set lets you do work offline from the stream, think of it as a private area, for you to make changes as many or few as you want, and when they are correct and finished, deliver those to the stream which then other people can view very easily. There are multiple reasons for creating change sets. More important than just being the atomic change, you can link these change sets back to an RTC task. So the task can be driving what changes you're supposed to be make, linked to the change set that is a permanent record of exactly which artifacts had to be changed for a specific task. And those changes made in the change set and then delivered to the stream once reviewed, perhaps, prior to uh, delivering it to the stream as well. So an example process, you have some process going on on stream two, my farm version of my tractor, that's the stream I'm working against. I start by creating a change set. I change two requirements. I can have that reviewed by some other user if I want. And when it is correct and approved, I deliver that back to my 
farm stream, changes I'm making to the tractor model that's aimed at farms. Now notice that I can also deliver from stream to stream. So if there are some changes in the requirements I made on the farm tractor that in fact are relevant to all models of my tractor, I can deliver those changes to my all stream where I am putting anything that's common across all of my tractors.